Hey everybody, Max Kevin here. It's the Little Cutie Podcast. It's not too long. Oh, oh, so they changed the tax rules, huh? I don't know if you guys saw that. They changed the tax rules, delayed it by a month. They're like, oh, sorry. Taxes fucking suck. We'll delay it by a month. Because we're putting new rules in there. Yeah, so. They uh, they forgave the uh, taxes on the first 10000 of your unemployment benefits. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. It's a thousand bucks. I don't have to pay back anymore, you know? That's great. So now I... And, uh, then I have another month to uh, get some money to uh, pay my tax bill. Fuck yeah, dude. Thanks. Thanks, Obama. You know? <laughs> uh, you know what's funny about the the whole estimated tax payment things? It's like here in Japan, they send you a bill, right? They 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 send you a bill, and then, and then you go pay it, you know? But like over in America, they're just like, oh, you didn't know? You were supposed to pay us. We never told you. We didn't send you any bills. We didn't notify you at all. You were you were just supposed to know it. You didn't know it? Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. That's what they always say, you know? The fucking politicians don't even know the laws that they're passing, you know? They don't even fucking read the bills. How is anyone supposed to know what the law is? Politicians don't know. Normal people don't know. Like, what? I can't smoke crack while naked in the park? I thought this was America. I thought this was freedom. I can't beat off while smoking crack naked in the park, selling drugs to little kids. What, I thought I lived in America. I thought Thomas Jefferson killed those goddamn redcoats so I could smoke this goddamn crack pipe without wearing any underwear and selling drugs to little kids, getting them hooked. I didn't know. I didn't know that was illegal. I'm sorry, Obama. You know, anyway, uh... Some good news. That's some good news for me. You know, I'm just, uh, what am I doing today? I'm just chilling, you know, doing a little work. You know, I'm not, not being super productive today. I don't know. I'm just kind of sleepy weepy, you know? Just kind of sleepy weepy today. I do going on. drink my koofies, but it's just not, uh, it's not correct. I'm just kidding. I'm just an old man, you know? I'm just an old man. I, uh, I bought this, uh, I bought this, uh, supplement called, uh, Niagen. It's uh, Nico, nicotine, some some form of nicotine, <laughs> nicotine, nic- I don't know if it really is, nicotinide, riboside, something like that. It's supposed to up your NAD levels, dude. Up your NADs. Dude, my NADs are too low, bro. I need to up my NADs. Yeah, so apparently, uh, if, you, if you guys don't know this, there's uh, stuff called NAD. Just like nicotinamide, acena, acenocide, don't tell your mother, you know? And, uh, it's, uh, it's what your mitochondria uses for energy or something. Something like that. I don't know. I'm not a biologist. Um, but, uh, yeah, apparently as you get older, like, especially late 30s, your NAD levels significantly decline, right? And that's why, like, People get fucking tired all the time, you know, if you're an old man like me, you know, so, uh, I bought this supplement. Yeah, it's kind of expensive, man, it's like a, it's like a dollar a day, fuck that, dude. Got a dollar. If you take the, if you take the full amount, it's like two bucks a day, but I'm only gonna take, like, half amount, you know? So I'm waiting for that to get here so I can not be so goddamn tired all the time, I don't know. I don't know, um, you know, whenever I, whenever I talk about food with people, you know, your diet, they're like, oh, did you change your diet, do you have more energy now, do you have a lot more, en- I changed, I changed my diet, I stopped eating, I stopped eating animals that were, that were cruel, people were cruel to the animals, I only ate animals that lived a happy life, and now I have better energy levels, they just, I noticed if the animals are happy, I, I get more energy when I eat their flesh, and I just have more energy now. I've never, I've never noticed. Actually, I, I notice if I don't eat carbohydrates, I don't want to take a nap after every meal. That's basically. I don't know. Does that count as more energy? I mean, I don't have, I don't, I don't really have more energy. I just don't get sleepy after eating. You know, that that insulin, insulin, insulin crash or whatever. That's the only thing I've noticed really. 
and uh, and uh, you know doing uh, doing keto and intermittent fasting, you just don't really get hungry as much. That's another thing. You know, you just don't get hungry as much. I never didn't really get as much energy though. You know, so fucking tired all the time. No matter what I eat, doesn't matter. Doesn't, I'm just tired of living, bro. Like, oh god, another day. I gotta, I gotta fucking get. I gotta open my goddamn eyes. I gotta do something besides sit on my fat ass and play video games all day. Oh God, life's not worth living. You know, sometimes I feel like that. It doesn't really matter what I eat, you know? Uh, anyway, uh, you know, so hopefully that, that niagen will get uh, get here pretty soon here. You know, maybe next week it'll stop, I'll stop popping those pills. I'll, I'll get all hyped up, excited. It's my, my, my mitochondria. It's making me energy. It's a foreign, it's a foreign organism, lives inside my cells. It's an alien. It makes energy for me. We live in a symbiotic relationship with aliens inside of our cells. Did you know that? Did I just blow your fucking mind, dude? You ever get really fucking baked and then just go on Wikipedia and read about mitochondria and you're like, Oh my god, there's an alien living inside my cells. Anyway, uh... See what else is going on here, you know, uh, I'm living in this building right now, living in this building in Yokohama's, so it's a nice little family neighborhood over here, it's, it's, it's a very, it's, it's, they're developing a lot, they're making a lot of buildings around this area, a lot of hotels that are empty, uh, because they're, they were built for the Olympics that never happened, and there's a lot of empty hotels in this area, it's really nice. Yeah, man, I'm in like this resident, it's like a residential neighborhood, but it's like, you know, they're all... Like, not skyscrapers, but pretty tall buildings, like 30-story buildings in this area, you know? And it's not, and there, there's a big park in the middle there. And I go to the park at night to do to do my exercises, to do, uh, you know, pull, pull uns and uh, dips on the rings, on my rings. And I, and I attach them to the swing set, because that's, like, the only thing you can attach them to. And the reason I go at night is because there's not, all the goddamn kids are gone, you know? So all these goddamn kids are playing on the swing set, it's like, get out of here, kids. Little Kevy's trying to do his exercises, all right? Let me do some goddamn pull-ups, you know, so I go at nighttime. Because if the kids are there, I'd just be like, get out of here, kid. All right, it's nighttime. It's your Betty Boopers time. Get out of here. I'm trying to get buff, you know? So anyway, I, uh, I usually go out there at night. I uh, put my rings on the swing set there, you know? And these kids just come up, you know? They're like, at, even at nighttime, some kid, like last night, I was doing it. And this kid just walks up and I'm and like grabs my ring, like he like he had no fear at all. Like I'm I'm not even standing far away from the ring. I'm standing like one feet away from it, right? <laughs> and he just walks up and he sees me and he comes and he grabs the ring, and just looks at me. I'm like hi, and then he walks away. It's like where's this kid's parents? You know, it's like this country is too safe. You know, American American kids and American parents would never let their kids just wander around in the park. You know, fifty feet away from them. Japan's way too safe, you know. These kids got no fear, you know. Don't the Japanese don't the Japanese parents tell the kids about school shootings? It's like, hey, kid, hey, little Hirohito, if you walk too far away from mommy, a school shooter will kill you. You can't be touching that stranger's rings on the swing set. And like a week ago, this this group of kids they came up and talked to me. And it's like, don't your don't your don't your parents tell you not to talk to strangers, kid? This kids just, they don't care, man. There's no fear. There's no fear in Japan, but I guess, I guess that's good, you know. There's no crime in this country, so there's really nothing to fear, I guess. That would be nice if uh, it was like that in America, huh? If there was no, if people actually respected each other and there was no crime, you know, anyway. um. Yeah, so this building I'm in, it's, uh, it's all right. It's a good building. I like it. It's got a nice view of the uh, Yokohama Bay there. There's a Ferris wheel I can see, you know. Uh, you know, my hay fever's not too bad, you know, because I stay inside this building all the time, and I got this nice air filter in this room. Do this air filter, it also, uh, it also, it's also a humidifier, right? So I gotta fill it up with water, like, every, every single day, man, this thing, this thing drinks, like, two gallons of water every day. They're just putting in the air, it's like, where's that water going? This air filter is just glugging water, I fill it up, I fill it up in the morning, 
This air filter is just like glug, 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 glug. Oh god, water's so good. I'm gonna put it in the air. I'm gonna drink the water and then fart it out into the air because I'm a humidifier. That's what I do. It's my it's my job. Glug, glug, glug. You know so. It's like goddamn. I didn't I didn't realize there was two gallons of air, or two gallons of water in the air. You know, every day. It's like where's it going? I don't I don't understand. It's in the air, but where's it going? Am I just breathing it? Absorbing it through osmosis? Anyway, it's a good air filter. Check it out, you know. It's on Amazon. Um. Oh, oh. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else going on right now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How to how to there's some fights this weekend, but nothing really nothing really interesting. I don't even care. I don't care about any of these fights. We got the main event. Main event Derek Brunson versus Kevin Holland. Who cares, bro? You call that a main event? But next week, man, next week, 260? UFC 260? Fuck yeah, dude. Steep A versus Nganu. Bokanovsky versus Ortega. Tyron Woodley versus Luke. Sean O'Malley, the snow cone versus Thomas Almeida. Yeah, so I did a uh, I did a little parlay there. I picked. Okay, let me tell you my picks. I picked O'Malley, Luke, Volk, and then Stipe and Ngannou. I didn't know who to pick because I don't know. I mean, the last time they fought, I thought Stipe was gonna win, but he's old. He's old man now. You know, he's older now, and Ngannou is probably gonna pace himself. He's probably gonna. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, part of the parlay, I uh, I I didn't pick a winner, but I picked it going over a round and a half. So I hope hope Ngannou doesn't knock him out in the first round. There, that'd be uh, that'd be uh, that would ruin my parlay. You know, that would uh, that would be a bummer. You know? Oh, anyway, I guess that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow.